The CLT Life presents Mother McQueen Coffee Bar in Waxhaw, North Carolina, featuring Deb and Doreen Arbogast, hosted by Jimmy Graponi. This episode is sponsored by the CLT Life Home Team at Costello. We make real estate simple, so make your next move with us. Contact Jimmy for all your North and South Carolina real estate needs. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy here with the CLT Life, and today I'm in downtown Waxhaw with Deb and Doreen Arbogast. They're the owners, the mother and daughter owners of Mother McQueen. It's a brand new pop-up coffee shop. It's a mobile coffee shop uh, here in Waxhaw. So we're going to talk to them and get to know more about their business. Hey, Deb and Doreen, how are you guys doing? Ladies, doing today? Great. How are you, Jimmy? Doing very well. So, Deb over here and Mom Doreen. Hello. Nice to see you both. Nice to see you. So, tell us a little bit about um, about the concept of uh, Mud and Queen and Mud and McQueen. How you came to be and then um, how it's going. It's going well. We started uh, last June and uh, actually had a retail shop, uh, brick and mortar, for about a year and a half downtown Waxhaw. And last March, when uh, COVID hit, I shut that, and then we started this in June. Okay. So, so the, the actual, I'm going to zoom out so people can see the um, your mobile. Yeah. This is so cool. It's like a, basically a mobile trailer that you're pulling behind. Got the Land Rover hooked up. Very cool. So, you started in June. How did you How did you start your business? Did you just go right into having the whole setup, or did... so we originally started with Acart. Okay. They have a nitro cool brew on tap, um, kind of pastry maker, and then we just sort of grew into three parts because <laughs> we added the espresso machine, and then uh, in December we got the trailer and then. Okay, so how did you come up with the idea of, of opening a, a coffee shop? Well, we're from California and we actually had um, two, two coffee shops and then I had a mobile, um, like a food truck too. Okay. Espresso bar and made to order paninis and delicious tomato soup. Yeah, it was pretty good. So you're in California. Do you have, do you have tacos on that truck too, or? You have to have tacos. You have to have tacos. Ta I lived, <laughs> I lived in the Bay Area briefly, like 15 years ago. So yeah, I remember those. For a must. I remember the taco trucks everywhere. <laughs> so, um, so what made you decide to pick Waxall to uh, to start your start your business here? Uh, so my sister's family moved here four years ago. So, okay. So we've been here two and a half. And why we picked Waxhaw, I think it's, it just feels like home here. It's a nice, quiet, safe community. Uh, and it reminds us of home. Okay. That's why we picked it. So that's why we picked it. We had big trucks driving by every now and then, too. <laughs> <laughs> so... So I've seen a lot of awesome reviews. You y'all are on uh, Instagram, and um, and people are really excited about your business. Uh, what are some of the things that people have told you the most that they like the most about your business? And well, now they love, first of all, that they can they can drive up and they're outside and they they feel comfortable, mm -hmm. right? They feel comfortable, and um, everyone says they love the aesthetic of, of, the, uh, of the trailer and the business. So that's been nice. Yeah, I love. And the coffee and the pastries. And so who? The coffee and the pastries. Yeah. So, so where do the coffee and pastries come from? Do you, do you, do you got y'all brew or? So our coffee roaster is a Harvest Roasters in Charlotte. Okay. So and they make our nitro cold brew as well. Okay. Uh, and then Mom makes. She's the pastry chef, and we have a little pastry room back there. Sorry. Made to order pastries. Okay. Yeah. So you make the pastries here on site. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty neat. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought pastries and cookies, I thought it was like a longer, drawn-out process, but... They take about you... five minutes. Okay. Five minutes and your knees buckle. So good. <laughs> I'm going to have to try one of those. <laughs> so, obviously the business has grown a lot in, um, in the past just a few months. Mm -hmm. So, do you have uh, grander visions for Mud and McQueen or... Um, yeah, we like, would evi eventually like to get um, more trailers and I, I think eventually get a brick and mortar, but okay. that could be down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's it like working together as um, mother and daughter? Have you worked together before or is this yes. the first time you have? Yes. Yeah. I was actually a professional golfer for five years, so mom was my travel companion too. Okay. So 
Um, yep, it seems like we're always together. Yeah. Right. Did, Mom, did you carry the bags? <laughs> no, my dad. <laughs> I just followed around. And <laughs> Very cool. Um, well, here's a question I love to ask everybody. Um, being a small town and we feature small local businesses on here. Uh, why do you think it's important uh, to support local businesses, not just your own, but but to support other local businesses? Yes, this is this is very important. It's it's like it's the most important thing. It's the only way a community can thrive. If you don't support this business personally, then I don't have the money to go and support that business. And it, it's just that's that's how a community thrives. Yeah, one hundred percent. You can't do it without. And one of the really cool things about Waxhaw is. Um, there's pretty much all the businesses here are small, locally, at least in the downtown area. Yes. They're all small, locally owned businesses. Yep. And um, they're, they support one another. So, I mean, we have, you know, several restaurants, but um, obviously the one restaurant wants you to come and dine with them. Right. But they want you to have the experience of going to the other place, too, yeah. because if all you are is just a one-trick pony and you only have one place in town, right. nobody's going to come back. Yeah. So. yeah, you get sick of it, right? You have to have... Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You can't eat the same thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> can't eat Mexican every single day. tacos. Oh. <laughs> I do, yeah, I do love tacos. I do love, if it's tacos, we can have those yes, every day. Every day. <laughs> um, so that's very cool uh, hearing about your history as a professional athlete. Oh, thank you. Um, how's that influenced your uh, your journey as an entrepreneur? So, and actually, I used to race motocross too. So um, I see the I see some of the motorbikes that's on here. Exactly it. Yeah. So that's where the name comes from. My, okay. Um, my grandfather was in the navy. Uh, in the Air Force, sorry. And um, he used to call coffee, he would refer to it as mud. So okay. that's where the that's where the name mud comes from. And uh, I'm a Steve McQueen fan. I, I appreciate that he could go and shoot a film and then go and race motorcycles on the weekend. So that's where it just sort of came together. That's how, that's how the name came came about. Very cool. Mud and McQueen. It's very memorable. Hey, m and M, obviously. <laughs> um, what would uh, what kind of advice would you give for any other um, like young people who have thought about opening their own businesses, wanting to be entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. not necessarily following a traditional uh, job path? Which I, which I never have, and I'm <laughs> I'm not one that sits on things. I I think about it, and then the vision comes, and then I immediately do it. I don't. It, that's just the way I. That's just the way I am. So. Uh -huh. You just got to jump into things. You just well, have to have faith and, and jump in. That's and we were, the biggest thing. We were talking off camera a little bit about this too, about um, lots of it is just trial and error. You just have to, That's exactly I mean, you make it. a lot of mistakes along the way, but yep. you also have some successes as well. That's true. Uh, so what's the best way for people to experience your business? I know right right now you're set up in front of downtown Waxhaw. They can come up and order. Um, I know you're in different places as well. Yeah, well, the best the best way to find us is on Instagram, okay. in between, um, and we post where we are because we are mobile, so we move around a bit. Okay, yeah, are so you always in the Waxhaw way. area? Or do you go to no, other we go to communities? Charlotte and yeah, different communities too. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. Um, you. This has been a lot of fun. Um, Doreen, we didn't get to talk to you as much. Do you have anything? Okay. You're the head. You're the head pastry chef. Anything that you'd like to add? <laughs> 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 Very cool. Well, thanks so much for taking the time. I appreciate this. Thank you. Um, look forward to continuing to support your business and I'm getting a coffee as soon as we uh, end filming here. <laughs> okay. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this latest video about Mud McQueen in downtown Waxhaw. And we look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care.